honestly, like, reading all the support on Nightblue's video where I used my intro for the first time, and then, like, on my own channel too, was kind of crazy. Like, I never really thought it would get received that well. So, I thought I'd give back to you guys and show you a little behind the scenes of how I make the videos that go up on his channel. But before I jump into it, I know it's been a long time since I was active on my channel, so if you're watching this, could you guys pretty please just hit the like button? It takes two seconds. It really helps me out. In addition to this, I'm going to be answering every single comment that you guys leave on this video. So if you have any questions, just like anything at all that you've ever wanted to ask regarding like editing videos or not, just now's the time to ask. I'll help you out as much as I can. I use Adobe Premiere and After Effects along with OBS if I ever need to record the screen for like a Twitch chat reaction or something like that. The Adobe Suite, like the whole thing, it's real cheap. You can get a subscription to it on their website and it comes with like Photoshop and a bunch of really other useful shit. I'll start by downloading like whatever footage I need and I'll drag that into Premiere. You can download Twitch rebroadcast using this program here called Twitch Leecher. There's sometimes a problem with Twitch Leecher and Premiere that'll make the audio go out of sync. So if you have this problem, don't worry, I'll teach you how to fix it at the end of this video. After I've downloaded everything, I'm gonna drag it into Premiere, cut it all up and make up a rough idea for the video. By the way, these are all the hotkeys that I use. Pause the video and copy them down if you want. To change your hotkeys, look under edit and then click keyboard shortcuts. You can search for the function you want and then edit it to whatever key you want. Most of my effects are done in After Effects, which is a completely separate program to Premiere, but I'm going to show you how to link them together. When you decide what part of the video you want to edit, highlight the two tracks and press C on your keyboard. Um, it'll be C if you've done the shortcuts that I showed you like however long ago. Anyway, highlight the two tracks and press C when you want the cut to start and then press it again where you want the cut to end. Highlight the section that you just cut out, right click it and go replace with After Effects composition. And then from now on any changes that you make in After Effects will also show up inside of Premiere. The sound effects that I do are a bit more simple, most of the time all you have to do is look up the sound that you want on YouTube and then go to this website and download it. And then from there you can just drag it into Premiere. Some sound effects are going to be a lot louder than others so just go into effect controls and you'll be able to adjust the volume. Don't stress too much about effects because the most important thing in doing these types of videos is making it feel like a story rather than just random highlights thrown together. Once you get the story down, everything else is just probably going to come over time. Alright, so if you're getting the issue where your audio is out of sync with the video once you drag into Premiere, download this program called Handbrake and then drag your footage in there. Once you've done that, make sure the container is set to MP4 and then click on where it says video, then make sure you have constant frame rate ticked and change your frame rate to whatever the original footage is. Then click browse, name your file and then click start. It might take a little bit, but then when it's done, just drag the new footage back into Premiere and it should be all back in sync. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up everything I was planning to talk about in this video. Once again, if you guys could just click the like button, it takes two seconds and it really helps me out a lot, especially since I'm planning to make videos like this a lot more often or I don't know like what content I'm going to be doing, but there's going to be a lot more videos now, so just, yeah.